pants. We we talked online very briefly, and then I found out she had a very a uh, fun job. And you found uh, out I had a dick. I knew that <laughs> the second you. We talked. I mean, oh, time. you could tell. Uh, but yeah, he's the Sherlock Holmes of. Yes, he, <laughs> yes. he really is. Yeah. He's Columbo. Uh, let me ask you one more question. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm sorry to bother you. Sorry to Are bother you. You fully functional. The answer. <laughs> <laughs> Found out would what you she, uh, date me though if I was not fully functional? This is a I real wouldn't question. even email you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, baby, we're starting the podcast right now. We're back. You know what, dude? Live. Welcome everybody to the show. YKW. I started the social media and podcast. <laughs> the fact. The YKW dude podcast. YKW is back again. Old school. Back in the day, where it all started. Before them all. This podcast is so fun and crazy. It has no rules. Shut up! You're ruining this. Where's the bandana, man? I'm sorry. It's a comedy podcast. This isn't NPR. That's what this podcast does. Is there any better show? This is the original. Original. What's up, everybody? It's Robert Kelly, and we're back doing another. You know what, dude? YKWD at the Comedy Cellar Studios above the world-famous Comedy Cellar. If you're watching on YouTube, do me a favor. Just hit the subscribe button right now before you go any further. Just click it. It's free, and it helps the show. And comment, and maybe ring the bell, and, you know, like it. Throw a thumbs up, even if you don't like it. Who gives a shit? What are you, a, a, a critic? Uh, anyways, and if you really want to support the show and get extra stuff, Go to patreon.com slash Robert Kelly and join my Patreon. It's not that expensive. And we do an extra show every week, the extra extra. And we do the questions and you can ask questions. You get to see the show before anybody else sees it. It always comes out there first. Uh, with that, I've been excited about this for a long time. And we're finally here. Max, who do we got? We have uh, Jim and Nikki Norton. Yay! Yeah. Yay! Yay! What's up, man? I'm so uh, I'm so excited to have you guys here. Um, yes, Jim. I know, like me and you, I'm like, but I feel like I we did a show together. We know, I, yeah. my friend. But yeah, it's like I look at you as one of Jim's absolute closest friends because you're one of the very first friends of Jim Circle that I met. One of the uh, yes, I remember that, and I remember how much he was telling me about you. Yeah, and we had dinner at Montreal. That's yes. right, we did. And, uh, and with Don and Max, with Don and Max. Yes, and then we uh, you were over for Thanksgiving. Yes, and was... Don is the most amazing cook. Can I say that was my first Thanksgiving ever at Bobby's house ever? Oh, you guys don't my do Thanksgiving. No, my first but we, one. You had two in number two, but they weren't good. Proper Thanksgiving with yes. the dinner plate. Oh, on was the, the other table. Thanksgiving? In it was Can just Canada. at a restaurant at a hotel. It's like a hooker. It's not even the same thing. Um, no, hookers don't this, want this... turkey dinner. <laughs> um, I... They just don't. They want to get it over with. Well, I have to say, your your <laughs> wife they is give a fabulous dinners. cook. Oh, she's amazing. Let me tell you something. I gotta. I, I'm gonna. I, it kills me yes. to say this. What? Because I don't. But she is. She's amazing. She, I married. Yeah. I married. Probably I married, the best cook you could find. I married the best. I got the best wife. No offense. Yeah. You got yeah. the best wife. No, you do. But, but she's true. like from. <laughs> Love she's you, Don. <laughs> she's from like the fifties, though. Yeah. Like I got so hard. I got sexually aroused this morning. Mm -hmm. She was on her knees in the kitchen scrubbing the dishwasher. Oh. Really? Who does that? Yeah. But an old broad from the 50s. Yeah. yeah. Wow. She had a hair up and a like a little bandana. Yeah. I'm obsessed with her. And she was scrubbing it. And I was like, I was like, I'm going to make eggs. She's like, I'll make them. She said, I'll make them when I'm done. Not make them yourself. <laughs> she yeah. goes, I'll make them when I'm done. Exactly. I, mean, I luck. Well, That's what we need in the, in the Norton household. Instead of her running around in thigh highs with hundreds in them saying, take pictures of me. No, you know, I'm tired. Do me a favor. Please don't stop doing that. Thank you. Um, I wish Dawn did that. You see her hot flash neck from menopause. <laughs> <laughs> her blotchy tits. <laughs> no, she's just running around in like slutty outfits, which is nice sometimes, but it's like it's late. I'm well, tired. Hold on. You've always told me to dress more slutty, and now you have a problem with it. I don't like he the way you're doing tells your hands. Me, Why don't you put on like some new pants or something? See, I see. It's He's always had oh. a problem with how I dress at home. But Why don't, I no, no, I like how you dress. But I'm saying don't at night, like when I have to go to bed in 40 minutes, then that's when well, she does you it. Want me to dress more sexy, so you should be happy that I look like a hooker. But now. a little earlier, love. That's all I'm saying. A little earlier. Yeah, but she's not. Uh, 
And I'm so happy that we could do this podcast at seven or eight or whatever yes. time it is because I'm a night person. Yes, I you like are. to be up at night. I feel much more relaxed now than at two p.m. Yeah, we're, digital. I understand that Jim has to get up early. Yes. And I've yes. done his show and it messes my day up. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I under, I get it. Yes. that it's just a tough thing. Why but does it mess your day up? All those laughs. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I share the same schedule as Jim now that we are married. Hang on. Yeah. I, gotta, I go gonna, to bed I gotta spit. he does. I got to spit. Why? Because of you. What? Uh, oh, you didn't like the little tickle? <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, come on. I did. There's so many laughs. Mm -hmm. but, you, but, but you married a young girl. You yeah. married a... Yes. She's not your age. No, so I you know. You can't expect her... What is she going to do? Hang out by herself at night? Yeah. She last night she slept in the living room because she wanted to stay up and take pictures. And I'm like, it was midnight. I was in bed by one. I have to be in bed by twelve at the yeah, latest. But that's a rare case. I'm usually always in bed when. Yeah, she usually goes to bed with me. You go to bed together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's great because my wife sleeps in a bunk bed with a ten year old. Oh I'm in, yeah. I'm in the bed by myself at night. I would love with, that. With, no, you wouldn't. I would. I hate it. I like I like that we're living together, but I, uh, sleeping together would be much, uh, much nicer if I had time to myself to sleep because she. I want her to do what she wants at night. But she goes to bed when I do. I will stay up later from now on because yeah. I'm kind of done with this lifestyle. When I was single, I used to stay up till 4, 5, 6, 7 a.m. And I know that I was younger then, but I get creative when it's dark out. Right. I'm not creative when it's bright. I just don't feel it. It right. has to be complete. But then he has to also not be home. Because when he's home, he kills the vibe. He he and announces can sleep on the everything. Terrace. I'm gonna take a shower now. I'm gonna do this now, and it's really annoying. That's because, what couples do. But it's I mean, a little graft in my mood every time you say that. A what? Like a little like. She's yeah. acting like she has this great vibe at home to create. You're a vibe I feel up sometimes. Like I listen to techno music and have a great time, and you're just like, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Well, you say techno music? I yeah. Love techno. It makes me so happy you're in his life. Oh, Thank it doesn't make know. techno music is blaring in the house. Exactly. Yeah, Why don't we just do poppers and fun? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. But here's the thing. Um, let's I mean, I just want to get it out there because it's the you know, the elephant in the room. Mm. My you punk? no. <laughs> oh. That's the elephant trunk in the room. <laughs> <laughs> she stepped on my joke with a better joke. <laughs> my dick. No, no, no. I was, I was, I was gonna... I've had too much dick. talk lately, so I know people are fed up with the dick talk. No more dick talk. Yeah, what no is, more. What, yeah, but I mean, no look, more dicks. No more dick talk. No. <laughs> but it, you Can't guys, you guys Wait. met. I, look, I, I've always said to about Jim. You you normalized sex with all of us, like comics. We can be brutal. Mm -hmm. We were out there, blah blah blah. I'm even misogynistic and and you know, uh, you know, kind of homophobic, but never in like a you know. But when you would come in, you're this Aussie dude from Jersey. You're a really edgy comedian, and you would talk about stuff on the radio and in your act. And we were like, I would always be like, this f dude, what? Like, and everybody was like. Dude, is that real? Is that real? But it was. It was real. Oh, yeah. And you were just being as honest as you can. The thing about you that is, you're a great writer. You're Thank as you. fast as anybody, in, but you're the most vulnerable, one of the most vulnerable guys yes. out there doing comedy. And then oh. when, you, when you said that you met Nikki and you're really in love with this girl, and I remember the struggle you were going through with trying to get her in the country and all the stuff you had to do. And then when you finally all the pandemic happened, all the stuff you had to do then. And then when it finally happened and she was here, I was like, I've never seen a light click on in you where you became a guy I used to know for a long time. You were kind of, Oh yeah. You had a dark cloud it was over a you, rough man. five years. Yeah. Yeah. But the light clicking on that you saw was when I realized I've made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, Techno you, music. no, but that's so sweet of you, Bobby, because when I imagined my life, like when I lived home in Norway 10 years ago, I would never imagine this life at 30 or 40 because the world really was a little different 10 years ago. Yeah. I would never imagine that just a friend of my husband would be nice to me at all. This is true. Really? I really mean that. Yeah. Maybe I've just always lived life behind whatever. But I'm so surprised that so many of Jim's friends here in America have been so nice to me. Like well, because, the nicest. And you're one of them, the nicest. Well, I, no, because I, it's Jim kind of 
did that. You kind of, not, not that I ever had, I, you know me, I never had a no. problem with any, I don't care sexuality. Right. Comics are great with that. Yeah. That's why I hate when they f- with comics about that stuff. It's like, are you crazy? Yeah. Like mm-hmm. Skankfest will get bad raps. And it's like, that is the most progressive festival I've ever been at. Joe DeRosa got blown by a transgendered woman. I know, Nikki on, Fox. On a yeah, podcast. Yeah. Fox. And we, nobody, we were all like, woo! The whole f- crowd was like, "This yeah. is great." I was surprised that he was so. Is this the right word? Nonchalant about it, like not yeah. react. Like he just said it, like and that was it. I was surprised by that. Yeah, I was w- proud of Joe. Yeah, yeah, but you're the guy that kind of made that all right to happen. Well, so the- was that his first trans fuck? No, <laughs> come on. I mean, oh. anyone who does, no one so does he- their first trans fuck on a podcast. It's the first one you talk about. <laughs> oh, probably <laughs> oh, his four hundredth. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the ones Good before shit. were not that fully I've, passable. I've never put that together. Yeah, I never did the math on that. Yeah, you know, it's never. It's like, does anybody who drunk drives get arrested the first time? No, <laughs> <laughs> it's the three hundredth yeah. time, and he's not going to stop till he goes to jail for it. Either. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to take away his license. Um, well, I remember, uh, you know, because when Jim, when I first met Jim, I was I moved into a building, uh, a high rise building yeah. in New York, in Manhattan. Yeah, in Manhattan, Forty Third Street. Yeah, and oh, he wow. he lived in Jersey. With fucking Jim Florentine. Yeah. Yes. So he was like, I want to move to the city. I want to move to the city. And I'm like, well, move to this building. He's like, I don't know. Where is it? I'm like, well, it's right on 43rd between 20th and 11th. It's a dormant building. It's kind of a new one. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's just, you know, barely listening. I go, yeah. And they have the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the elbows right across the street. Edelweiss. Ed- Edelweiss. Oh, Edelweiss. And he literally, I didn't hear from him for like a week and a half. <laughs> All of a sudden, I just saw him in my lobby. <laughs> he was just in the fucking with lobby. A, with did a you broker. love this on club? I did, yeah. Um, so were they stripping or like? Nope. I mean, I don't know. Did they show their, <laughs> <laughs> did they show their cocks? Um, <laughs> the, uh, the, the, the Edelweiss had all trans girls in it. And it was uh, um, it had a diner. Con- I'm going to do it because he's fumbling. For no, no, no. no. I, I, <laughs> they had a diner connected with the Market Diner, famous diner in New York City. Mm-hmm. And it, was fa- it, had, it had parking spots. Like mm-hmm. one of the only diners in Manhattan when you could pull your car into it. And this night. was like in the two Connected to, basically connected to the bar. Yeah. And it was a nightclub where all the, you know, the Hookers, trans girls would go. Trans. And. And so what you could do is just go to the diner and get eggs and just have these smoking hot girls eggs, flirting with you. Like yeah. Semen. Yeah. On your face. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was, it was just like this, you know, it's not like that anymore. No, you now can't. It's yeah. all only fans. Text me and I'll meet you at your apartment. I only went in there once or twice actually. And I didn't mm-hmm. know. I, th- I don't think I even hooked up in there. I just went in. It was like a strip club and you could get lap dance. But I really so, did. So these are trans girls yes. stripping, showing their cocks. Did they strip? Yes. In Norway, strip clubs they did. are illegal. So can you imagine how, to me as a foreigner, this is unimaginable to me and sounds like a paradise? I c- could not even. My Norwegian mind could not even comprehend a strip club. How did you? How did you guys meet? How did you meet this Aussie dude from Jersey? And you're in, you're just a Norwegian goddess. I didn't even know what Jersey was. Thank you. I didn't even know what Jersey was before I met Jim. Really? And then I realized he was from Jersey, and I was like, oh, cool. And then I realized it was kind of not cool because Jersey is like, blah. <laughs> I would rather want my man to be from California. Yeah, good. I hope you well, find one. <laughs> uh, we, what, about, what about Boston? Like Boston? <laughs> I like the men, like how they look from Boston, but I would never want to live in Boston. Yeah, but the men are good. Yes. Thanks. Uh, Are you we, from Boston? Yeah. Hands. We we talked online very briefly, and then I found out she had a very a uh, fun job. And you found uh, out I had a cock. I knew that <laughs> the, the second you we talked. I mean, oh, you me. could tell. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, from Clunky somebody's man. shadow. Well, he's, no, um, it's not that. He's an expert. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. Jim once told me he I can literally tell by plane. someone by, 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 by the shadow from a plane. I can tell by yeah. somebody's ringtone. Yeah, he's, the, he's, he's the Sherlock Holmes of. Yes, he, yeah. he really is. Yeah. Um, he just doesn't need that little spectacle. Not he, with me, at least. He's Columbo. <laughs> uh, let me ask you one more question. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry to bother you. Sorry to Are bother you. Are you fully functional? The answer. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, then I then I I, I found out what would she, you date uh, me though if I was not fully functional. This is a I real wouldn't question. even email you. Uh, <laughs> 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 I wouldn't even recommend a show for you You're to watch. Fetishizing me. <laughs> we um, <laughs> but no, we talked voice. online. Like I knew she was on cam. I didn't care. Like right. I I don't give a fuck about that at all. Okay. Yeah, people think she still does it. Like she's been retired for five oh, years. I don't do webcam anymore. No, like I literally five that. years. But I started the day I turned eighteen. Literally the day I turned eighteen on my birthday, I right. sent in my information. In, I'm clothes in Norway. Off. In Norway. Were you in my your own apartment? Room. Yes, in my mother's house. You're in the you're, you live and with your parents. Yes. Did they know? In a villa. Um I think so. No. 
No, because oh. I, because I, no, I told my mom something else that I was just, you know. I remember when she found out. We knew each other when your mom found out. Yes, we did. What yeah. We found out like three or four years later. But I was right. home with my mom and I would be like 18 and still in school and I would get like placer heels and stripper shoes and mm -hmm. laundry and lace yeah. delivered on the door every day. And she's like, how are you affording this? Perfumes. Were well, you making a lot of cash? Oh, I'm just uh, online, yeah. you know. <laughs> Were you making money? You must have been making good money. Yes, yeah, some money. <laughs> you making money in Norway is... If I was an OnlyFans right now, I would make 10 times of what I made before. Really? Yeah, OnlyFans is so much more lucrative. They take 50% where I used to do it. Really? But in Norway, is it accepted? Is it more accepted there? Oh like my God, not when I did it. I was looked on. If you smoke weed in Norway, you're looked on as a junkie. The what way that people smoke weed here, if you smoke dope in Norway, yeah. you're immediately a junkie. Really? Yes. What about transgender? Is that accepted there? Is that? It's, you know, I feel like we're going through the phase that the gays did 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. In Even Norway. in Norway, yeah. Yeah, because like they'll pretend and they'll be super like, oh, yeah, we love everyone. Like, that's the mindset, right? Yeah. But the people really, and maybe it's because I'm very Norwegian. I couldn't look more Norwegian. Maybe they can see that, oh, that, that this was a man or, you know. But with me, I feel like they're much more, my experience in Norway is much more not transphobic. Right. Just not as good as it is was here in America. Was your family okay with it? They were okay with it, but it's weird. It's when, weird. When they, they have know. a hard time with it. It's everything. weird. Yeah. yeah, it's weird Except to be a transgender. My dad loves me. My father is my oh. most supportive. Oh, that's great. With the whole trans situation. Yeah. Right. But it's it's weird to be trans for me in Norway. It's a weird thing. You're weird. right. Yes. Yeah, really? Yes. And then did you, did you? When did you guys meet? When was the first time you set that up? We talked for and seven months. And did you see months. a photo of him? Oh, we were yes. FaceTiming him. I saw his Wikipedia, and I was like, <laughs> oh my God, he has a Wikipedia. He's got to have some money. Oh, did, can I please see his Wikipedia page? Yeah. Um, and he had a photo. sexy picture where he was like in a bomber jacket, and he just looked She liked the picture of me, and it wasn't sexy. I looked awful I like in that, that picture. picture of you. I know, it's a terrible picture of me. We, uh, we talked for seven months. I finally booked gigs over there. To, to, to just have a reason to go. I booked Oslo, yeah. Amsterdam, Antwerp. And I, I went did over Oslo. And met Oslo's her. awesome. Yeah. And that's yeah. I met, met oh her there. God, and then like she it. came to Amsterdam with me. I loved Oslo. I, love I had a blast in Oslo. Like so and we started picture. talking. Yeah. It was like literally. Uh, oh, that's, that's not the, that's the picture. That's not the photo. Oh, God. But you still look sexy there. No, she likes me when I'm heavier. I like when you grew your hair out a little bit, too. I can't now, I though. I like it's, you with a little hair. Oh, that's it's terrific, too. but I can't. It's, I have to go. You guys fight like a couple. It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is. You guys are like, like you've been married for 20 years. Yes. Yeah. Um, it does feel that way. Um, so you you meet her. Did you like, I mean, were you like, this is it? I'm in? Yeah, but I didn't. Like, like again, the distance thing, she wasn't allowed to come to the States because of the, some dumb ticket for pot. Like, So we knew it was going to be a long haul. I had no idea how many years it would take. I remember but, how uh, frustrated you were. Man. Oh, I was, I was depressed for five years. Like, yeah, on you, and off, in and out, in and out. I can't believe it was five years. It, I can't. I think because of COVID kind of sucked up. That made it worse. Those. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But it was, yes. I remember how miserable he was. He, I mean, you, he would just, that, that's what he would do. What's up? Oh, Mm -hmm. You'd always and, have that little... And I can imagine that people are tired of hearing the immigration talk because we've done it on every single podcast, yeah. but I don't think people understand what it does to your life. No. Like, this was not some 90-day, two-year way, like 90-day fiancé. This was five fucking years. Yeah. This was a waiver for smoking weed. This is overcoming a charge of being some sort of a drug criminal. It, a hundred dollars really ticket. Look, look yeah, at it's it crazy. That way. It's right. crazy. They, you know, you're a criminal right. in the system. It really doesn't matter. It's really antiquated. So we had to overcome way more than I think anyone could. But at the end of the imagine. day, it made us a better couple because like we- I don't think we would be together if we didn't have that struggle. Right, because we wound up, you forced to get to know each other. We, we would FaceTime every night, but you like we weren't having sex or seeing because she was in another country. So you're forced to just know somebody. And like, do I want to talk to this person? FaceTime and we would talk every night. Hard. Like, it was hard. Of course I it was hard, yeah. went to school in Norway and this man in America. Hello. He's <laughs> FaceTiming me all manic when it's like 12. While midnight at my place and he's like all riled up and I want to go to bed. Yeah. The time difference was crazy. I know. You talk to me at 1 a.m. Jim, what are you doing? Yeah. Now you're getting them back with your fucking techno music. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Much more bass. And I don't, by the way, I like the slutty clothes. Don't get me wrong. I just, at 1130 at night when I have to sleep, I'm just like, I got to go to bed. No, that, yes. But you, but like you, you are, dude, look, we're both in that age bracket. Yeah. Are you the same age? He's a, a little older than me. Yeah. Not too much, but um, I'm 53. You look amazing. Thank you so much. You have much. the most perfect skin. Thank you so much. And when I first met you, 
you just now, I'm not saying you didn't look good before, but yeah. you look like a new person and amazing. Oh, you came at Thanksgiving when I was 360, 350. Mm. Oh, yeah. I, it's, so, it's That's I, not even that long ago. Are you in a stomach? Years. Huh? No, no. I got uh, stomach surgery. Oh, Thank my God. Coffee? Yeah. Yes. Okay. You look got, amazing. Thank you so much. I, I would have thought you were in a stomach because you look that good. Yeah, I, uh, I got the baby stomach surgery. Around like two, it? yeah, almost two years ago. Oh, it, it saved my life. Mm. I lost 140 pounds. I think it's crazy. Great. Yeah, yeah, it's really crazy. Great. And I, I mean, it's it's just. Don't you feel happy and re-energized in the world? The best part of it is that I can play with my kid. Oh, that's the best part of that's it. That's so sweet. I can I can now hang out with him. I can. There was times where I, I mean, it's sad. I mean, I have jokes in my act about it, but going to amusement parks. I mean, mm. I remember at Hershey Park. Going on the roller coaster and they have oh it's so humiliating. They have a fatso chair. <laughs> they have a regular. They have the roller coaster <laughs> chair. The, so there's the line, and then there's a fatso chair. And you have <laughs> to sit get, on it. You have to get in it and then see if you can <clears throat> click uh, the thing. Oh no! And you have to. And I t I hurt myself. I was like I saw a dude get up, couldn't yeah. click it. Him and his daughter had to oh uh, had to walk away. Oh. So I remember when I got in it. And I, I literally, I pulled it. It wasn't clicking. And I went, <gasps> and I went, because you weren't going to not do that with your son. Yeah. It hurt so bad. So you couldn't do the ride? Well, there was, a, there was another time I couldn't do the ride either. The guy actually, I, have, I was in another roller coaster where we, the bar went down. I got, and the, he goes, sir, you need to, I need to get another click out of this. And I was like, dude, this is fine. I'm good. He was like, look at your son. There was, Two feet from Max's chest and the bar. Yeah. So he would have died because right. of my fatness. Oh, my God. And that's happened to me on a bunch of rides. Like, I remember one time, you know the spinny teacups? Yeah. <laughs> I love so, That's my favorite ride. Well, not when you're 360 and your son's on the wrong side, the physics. No. I was on the wrong side, and he was going, Dad, <laughs> Dad, please. And I was like, I'm trying. <laughs> and I'm literally ripping my shoulder oh. out of his. I'm like, I'm so sorry, that Dad. That so fun. It, it was not. It <laughs> was, <laughs> was crushing his son. Was crushing. You oh. really misread you messages. You didn't laugh after? <laughs> Not after, because he was oh. like, nah. He was like, his rib. He was oh, like, no. And it was like serious. It was oh like, God. it was not a fun thing. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Yeah. But you see what I put up with? Like, your story is like, oh, I was crushing him. She go, God, that must be so much fun. I love it. I love it. It must be fun. Yes. Be better than my wife, fake laughing. <laughs> not do I do laughing. that too, Jim? What? The fake laugh. But I always call her out. Like, she'll do something to shut me up. I'll do something. She'll go, ha, ha, I'm like, stop fake I laughing. I give him complimentary laughs. I don't what like that. What a tell me one. <laughs> yeah, I always, it's a shitty titter. And I'm like, just stop. Or like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't need it. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I really well, it's so, it's almost perfect timing though. Because the whole world in the last, I would say, 10 years here. Mm. You know, trans is, you know, it's. I totally it's not as in as you think, though. Like, it's on the surface. People are like, oh, they all say the right shit. Yeah. But, but the day to day. But it, no, but here's the thing, you though. You can tell how people really feel about it. It's in everyone's mind. And yes. it wasn't 10 fucking years ago. I mean, yeah. people forget that. Can I was you, online all the time. People didn't talk about trans before Caitlyn Jenner was on that magazine. I swear to God. But here's the thing, too, Jim. You got to look at it, too. You're a comic. Yeah. We fuck with er any weakness you have. We fuck with each other. Oh, yeah. You can't expect any, you know, people not to be like, to see you walk in with a smoking hot oh, trans girl you. and, That's you know, your nice. gym. Oh, yeah. I love you, gym, And you, hey, what's going on? And it's just like, what the, f what oh, the. Oh, yeah. I don't you know mind. what I mean? That's, people fucking with, like, people being funny. I don't care like less. thinking that I'm a gold digger. No, that I don't care about either. Uh, but no, no, I'm just saying people are not, I don't mean the, the joking around shit. I mean, but people, you see how people really feel by the way they respond. What do you mean? Or, you can just tell. You can always oh, right. tell. Okay. You know what I mean? If like people have a problem with it. Yeah, or if they just like, uh, or if they're a little weird, well, you can just read it. But let's it. be honest, though. I feel like when I'm with you and you see us, some people will have their first thought will be sexual, sex. Because I do think when people look at me, they think of sex. Well, you've, I'm not I, saying that I'm the sex bomb, but I did what exactly I did. That's exactly what you're saying. I did what I did, <laughs> and I think people just affiliate me with sex. Well, can I say something? It's not that. It's your, no. you're beautiful. You Thank dress you, sexy. Bobby. You're so nice. So it's like when people see you, it's like any any hot. Yeah. If I see, see you know, I, anybody that walks in that comes, you know, you know what I'm saying. But people forget that if you see my nails, like I'm a farm girl. 
You know what I mean? Are you really? Yeah, yes. well, the horse part. I, I used to clean horses' hooves <laughs> and had my own pony. You got to give me a second, one second. Now, now Jim has one. I, <laughs> yes, he has a wife with horse cock. <laughs> you have to spell it out. They kind of got it. <laughs> Does that bother you? No. No, not that part. That what? it's It's like... That is it, big. Is it bigger than yours? Yes. I mean, she wouldn't be in the country if it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't buy, I mean, you don't I'm hire not, an immigration lawyer for six. Not saying that. <laughs> not, <laughs> so you wouldn't put me in the country. You wouldn't get me in the country. Oh, I mean, look. <laughs> no, it doesn't bother me. No. <laughs> uh, oh, that's that's good. Does his bother you? <laughs> <laughs> no. You, you go. It was, weird. Where? it was weird with uncut. I mean, with cut, but. Oh really? Yeah, mm -hmm. she'd never been with a cut guy. Oh, oh really? That's weird. See, the other way is weird to me. Yeah, mm. you know. I can imagine that. Yeah. Yeah, like we had to make that decision with Max, mm. where you know we were. It was so funny because they just take the kid out. Yeah. Do they do it when you're born here? In yeah. Well, what they do is they just come in and go. We'll be right back. Mm. So they just did it. Right. And we were like, all right, fuck it, because we were like, should yeah. we? Should we? No, are we? And then the doctor came back. Okay, he's all done. And we're like, oh, thank God. Right. And you know? everything was fine. And everything was fine. Everything was good. That's all that matters. He's going to have a bigger piece than me, though. I oh, good that. for him. Yeah, good, good for Max. For, yeah, why? Good for me. Because you, you are, the bigger the penis, the better your life is. That's the, no one with a big dick has a bad life. Yes. Yeah. You always got that going for you. I just don't want him to tell me one day, be like, Dad, <laughs> We'll be pissing in the woods hunting. <laughs> yeah. He'll be like, look at that little thing. He'll and yell I it at you when you want to, he wants to use the car and you won't let him. But like, why don't you just fucking sit there with your small dick, Dad? <laughs> but being tall and knowing that I have a big cock, I yeah. do feel like that I have some sort of a power move. Like, I can say to the average guy, I have a bigger dick than you. Does it really matter? Anything right. you say? No, and that is what a guy wants to hear from his wife in the mall. Uh, <laughs> when you're arguing with a that, clerk. That's what I want to hear from some guy's <laughs> wife in the mall. That's a good one. <laughs> do you hear so, what she just said? <laughs> I do feel like I have that. Do you, is it, do you, uh, do you just go anywhere? Do you, I mean... Do you guys just go anywhere out and no, yeah. no, no mm. just fuck it, right? Yeah, no one's. Yeah, yeah I don't care. Is it, are you afraid to go like to certain cities or? No, he has what? held me in my hands every single country. We've been to ten countries. Really, he's held my hand in every country. Um, yeah, I Jim mean, is, he's a very dirty comic, but he's very sweetheart. Don't he is. We are. I'm not necessarily worried about, but I'm aware. Like, because I'm not naive. Like, right. I would never go to the Middle East. Like, I would love well, to go to Dubai, but I'll never. We most, were, most of those guys. We were in those I guys. Know. We I were talked in to Bailey J and it was like mm. <laughs> she's like, oh, there's a bunch of those sheiks. They do, but it's the immigrant it's getting into the country right, I'm right. worried about or the religious police or something. I'm not supporting that shit. I want to go see the Burj Khalifa, but not, I can't go anywhere that's not safe for her. Right. I and I've said this to all everyone that I know, and if you have a problem with it, fine. I well, I will never travel to a Middle Eastern country. Mm. Because if you look on Wikipedia and you look at the LGBT summary for the Middle East, most parts of it, mm. where it's Islam. Everything is illegal. So even if I can be fine, like you can tell me that, but why the fuck would I want to go where the government can imprison me for being what, who I am? Right. Yeah, it's not worth the and chance. I, and I'm going to be the conservative for saying that I wouldn't want to travel to the Middle East. I've had gay people tell me, um, because I said something like, Palestine, like why are you rooting for Palestine if they would kill you? You know what I mean? Right. And I feel like they attack me if I say that. Little do they realize they don't support you and would kill you. Right, yeah. So I feel like that makes sense. Right. Yeah. So I won't go any place like that. Yes. Yeah. All right. I get you. I'm yeah. actually very liberal and hippie. You are? I'm a hippie. Really? You're no not. war. No war. Just in Jim's <laughs> mouth. I mean, <laughs> it's not the even suka. a war. No, it's a tsunami. Well, I said, <laughs> do more uh, dick jokes. You know what I don't understand is when Jim delivers a joke, yeah. sometimes it'll get a laugh, but if I do, it doesn't always, but it's funny. I liked it. Because you're awkward. I did too. Yes, is, you're awkward. She's, she's awkward. a little awkward. Well, you, she don't, is, you don't she sound like is. you're from Norway either. Yeah. You sound like you're from Long Island. Oh my God, so many people have been telling me I have a New York accent. You do. Re do I really? You do. I don't think I do. She likes you. I don't think. She sounds like I can't believe that so many people say I sound from New York. I mean, but, it, but like... <laughs> I think they forget that I'm not. Foreign. Maybe I think it's because that I'm foreign. Yeah, that that you're. It, it might be. I don't know what it is, but you sound like once in a while you get a little yentery. What's you know what that? I mean? Yeah. Just you know, I got my money. Oh, I, <laughs> yeah. My you know. Yeah. Like a little Long Island. A yeah. little Long really? Island. Yeah. yeah. Like, but, Jappy. I, but it must yeah. be from you though, Jim, because I 
feel like my English has evolved. Yeah. I think your English is great. Thank yeah. you. I think it's great. Thanks I think so it's much. fantastic. Yeah, I forget That's sometimes it's not our native language until I hear her talking in Norwegian. And a lot of like, people... Oh, yeah. Can will... you talk Norwegian to me right now? Hi, I'm speaking Norsk. What is Norsk. It? I'm speaking Norwegian. Yeah, no, no, I know, but what did you say? Yeah, I'm bringing Norge to New York. Saying I'm bringing Norway to New York. That's a great language. It's not, though. Her and her father, I think they're screaming at each other. She's like, no, we're having a great chat. It's very hard. It's very mm, clipped. Sometimes. Now, you've been there. You've been to Norway. A few times, yeah. Her yeah. family likes me. That's they great. love you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I finally met her. Like, I met her dad and my her mom and her stepmom. My father. Well, they, they weren't, I don't mean to be so insulting, yeah. they weren't disappointed? I mean, no, only in didn't they, didn't they <laughs> Oh, fucking. This is, this is why I love you, too. This is why I love you. Mm. When I found out you hate Chip. I hate Chip. Listen to me. Can we talk for a second? <laughs> I fucking hate Chip. I fucking hate Chip. I cannot stand him. He fucking stinks. I and I, you know why I love that you came into his life? Mm. Because No more Chip. You killed Chip. <laughs> no, she didn't. Make, shut up. People you blame her. Shut up. <laughs> I hate I wish Chip. I could have killed him. What about Doug? I do not like Doug. Doug is a douche. I hate Doug. Oh, I hate Doug. But I like him more than Chip, though. Chip is just annoying. Look, I take And he Doug. always wants to tickle my balls or do something <laughs> stupid. <laughs> or, like, toot on my pecker. <laughs> like, no, thank you. I think I like Chip now. <laughs> Look up, man. God damn it. Let me kiss it. <laughs> yeah, I hate that. And sometimes he'll speak into the microphone as Chip. Oh, uh, <laughs> wait a minute. She hates Where, that. What do you mean the microphone? Yeah. Am I calm? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chip testing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, and I lived with Chip for two years. I think I like, I like that Chip. She filmed all, all the not. stuff in the pandemic that we did for Chip. She filmed <sighs> oh, the whole Chip movie. horror movie. And Jim, yes, and Jim she was is, in it, by the way. Well, were you a, having second thoughts? Maybe, maybe yes. I just go back to Norway. Yes, because Jim is a perfectionist and he wanted everything in that to be so perfect. Uh, and this was a real shoot. This was not me silly. Like so many oh. f fans. Well, he had him. a film crew, though, a director and a, and a mm. really professional camera, right? No, no, it was just, just us two in the pandemic. Yeah, that's home. what I'm saying. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> fucking asshole. And I'm sure this, so torturing many. this girl like you're fucking Scorsese. <laughs> but she was in the movie. I got her in the movie. I spoke I to a, Chip. I did a voice. <laughs> oh god. She did the voice of the. Uh, there was a woman called this ELFH, Evil Lady from Hell. Before, I wish that horror movie ended with Chip being murdered, but you were really killing him. Are we able to see that for a minute? I'll show you Nikki's part. Yeah, bring up, bring up uh, Chip's mo horror, horror movie. movie. Prepare to be scared, boys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can I just say something? Yeah. The fact that Chip is, hasn't been around. And Do you like it? I love it, and I love that you replaced it. You were the only one that could do it mm. because his fans kept it going. I would go to shows, and there'd be a Chip shirt, and then I'd look, and there'd be a Doug shirt, and they'd be looking at me like this, yeah. looking at me like because they know how much I hate it, and I, I haven't, I haven't hide a hair of that piece we of hate shit. Chip, just as I much. hate him. We should get shirts. But I had, I was doing Chip while you were here for a year, and I just got bored with it. But now I'm you know, all this Chip talk. I wouldn't tell Jim to no, 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 do Chip again. Is making me. You got I'll it? show you where to go. Hold on. I'll, I'll show you where to go. We'll show you Nikki's part. I mean, this is again a frightening. You zip into about halfway a little bit. Don't ever say zip in. You're right. You're not a film guy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. can you uh yeah, zip six <laughs> six ticks into the uh could you buzz in there a little bit oh, a little I'm further? Throw up. A little further. Uh that, wait. That was her, right? No, no, no. She's not. I'm oh. getting like flat. Oh, go back, go back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's, keep keep going back. Right? No, she is not there. Uh, uh, right there. What is that? Wait, that's the evil lady from hell. E L F H. Wait. Oh god. And oh she, my god. Go ahead, hit play. If you want to be scared. This way I shall. <sighs> What? Wait. So stupid. E L F H. E L F H. Oh, was that the same sign or a different sign? It's a different sign. They're in the hotel room. This is we shot this in a Ritz in Toronto. I shot this. This yeah. was at a Ritz. Yeah. It's very frightening. <laughs> oh. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Why? Your part's coming up. It's embarrassing. I don't know. I understand everything. It's humiliating. You, you understand nothing? I'm humiliated. I know you don't get comedy. I understand. <laughs> oh, I understand. You don't understand film. <laughs> it's very this is writing. So redundant. Spirit. Oh. E-L-F-H. I understand. You don't understand what, what an you asshole you're being. Tell me. <laughs> huh? I know who haunts me. Evil lady from hell. Evil 
lady. That was Nikki's big part. <laughs> Will you answer my questions, <laughs> fair maiden from the underworld? <laughs> and this was before we were public. <laughs> it was like a little Easter egg for you guys. Yeah, evil lady. Evil lady from hell. Evil lady. No, no, commit to it. Don't. I, no. It's come on, no, do it. I, you come on. Humiliating. Come I, on, it's good. <laughs> I would rather. I would rather. Be in the pig pen at Fist Fest. Ah, got the Fist Fest hoodie. Yes, we're doing a show at Fist Fest. We're trying to. We're going to Fist Fest in October. Oh, nice tonight. (laughs) Oh no. (laughs) (laughs) See, here's yeah. Oh shit, (laughs) Knuckles McGillicuddy. (laughs) (laughs) But here's the thing with the because it's dude. Here's the thing with the sex thing, right? You want to know. And I went through this like with Bailey and and, and uh, Matt, who are good friends of mine. Bailey yeah. and Matt, who are, yeah, me and Matt, I love Matt. He's one of my closest. She was friends. one of the absolute first trans girls that I ever saw. So think about time, right? Yeah. Like you guys would probably look at me and her as the same age or whatever. She's the first, probably the first, because I remember when she was on the forums way back or being posted around online. Yeah, she was one of the OGs. Yeah, Bailey J. She, she was one great. of the very. She looks amazing. She's one of the first girls I ever saw. Yeah, her in husband Norway. Matt is great uh, the greatest guy. I talked to him. He called me today. Mm. Yeah, we talk all the time. He's one of my my great friends. I love him. But I've you know you, you don't like I like people like people always ask me this. The, I always get and I, I don't I don't care you know I don't want to know either because none of my business. does he fuck her does she fuck him does he get fucked in the I'm like I don't know I don't know I don't well, ask I don't ask my other I don't ask right. Mike Calta does your wife eat your right, ass right, right, I don't I don't that's none of my fucking business it's his wife yeah but so I it's think like of it this way there's two holes so I'm assuming both are being used. Eventually, like at least once. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like having a two car garage. Yes. <laughs> one of the, one of the, when I was talking, I was talking about, I was talking uh, about like questioning things one day with you, and you said, you know, you don't know nothing about questioning things like until you have your legs wrapped around your wife's bum and pushing her cock into your ass. <laughs> That's probably a really question. emotional moment. It was an emotional <laughs> moment. I was, I was really emotional. I was like, Makes sense, Jim. But is it rude to ask someone if they do? Because I don't care. Like, I'll ask anyone. Is it rude? You shouldn't ask questions it's like that. Like married if you have couples. Anal sex? Not ma- no. married couples. Is that I rude? Think, yes, I think married couples. But if you know them, doesn't matter. No, I mean you could ask Don. Right. But I could I, ask I would, him. I would be comfortable. But I would never. Don. Yeah. Go ahead. I mean, I don't ask people. My wife. Oh. Can I say something? Never seen my wife's asshole. Really. Never seen Doll's butt. I'm sitting next to Why it. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> you just never done. <laughs> the fastest guy. No, I just, I don't know, she's never been into it. And I've really? never broached the, you know what I mean? I'm sure, I'm afraid at this point where I'm going to be like, I'm going to do this. You're like, I've been waiting fucking yeah. 30 years, you fucking f- mm. Get in there. Fuck it, I'm going to fuck you too. Like, I'm a, like, what if I open up Pandora's box? You'll love it. <laughs> <laughs> Jim's <You'll>, mouth. <laughs> I, mean, ah, ah, I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> Your mouth is Pandora's box. I understood. Your cheeks are blushing. Um, I hate Chip, so I'm so glad you killed him. I'm she so did? glad he's gone. No. He's gone. Well, but, but not because of her. A lot, I chip, people, I a lot of people think that I stripped him off, and they're like, oh, we want to have Chip back. But I never removed him like entirely. I just don't like the man. Yeah, well, yeah. well what's to like? Nothing. He's fun. He's not funny. <laughs> sure he is. I not ha- funny. I really hate Chip. It's annoying. T- 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 it is. T- t- my, my parents were like... My son, grossed when out, she sees Jim, she goes, ah, Chippa. Yeah. He goes, Chippa, when's Chippa coming over? He, he, does, still, he does he, have real fans. He does have real. Where are you going? Right here. Just to get to show you. Chip? I'm sure you have these. What? What is it? Oh, wow. Oh, no, I didn't get them. You should. I didn't get them. They're the same price. I know, those are the Ray Ban uh, Facebook glasses, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, we make you a little. Them too? <laughs> no. No, I, I, I told you I get them. For I want them. the sunglasses ones. Um. But I need the wig. Now with the these. light is off. Why no, do you need the wig for what? Because that I chip just, news. No, they I do kind of look chippish. I can fucking talk to you like this. Oh. Quit telling everybody, peck a sucker. <laughs> Good damn it, bae. I hate him. I'm filming you. I don't want you to. Piece fu- of garbage. I hate him. <laughs> Have you known Nick, Chip for a long time? I've I've known him his whole shit life. <laughs> 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 right into the light we look. Uh, but damn, it's like the sun, babe. Yes. Here's the problem with it. He has me on his show, 
because I hate him. And people are like, do you really hate Chip? And I'm, mm. me, yes. Yeah. Me too. I don't like him. I hate I told him, I go, no Chip. At, like, we had a party. I'm like, no Chip. Chip can't Cunt. make an appearance. Cunt. But you really didn't like Bell? Bug Dell? I fucking hate <laughs> Buggy Dell. I don't, I don't call think him. people understand what it's like to live with Jim Norton because he does characters with me at home every day. I was there when they started. You understand? I knew mm. Jim Norton as just the comic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just the comic. And we would go get coffee at Starbucks every day when we lived in that building. And all of a sudden, he started coming back with his, ah, you don't need a mug. I don't like a mug. Uh. And he started doing these things. I'm like, what? Now, mind you, we're talking normal for years. Mm -hmm. yeah. All of a sudden, we're walking. Yeah, I don't need a mug. I'm not a mug guy. I like a mug. And you start doing I'm like, what are you and, doing? And it just gets worse. And then it started becoming a thing. And then it became a character. But they were there before you. Like, I mean, not Chip developed over yeah. the years. In here, you're no, no, whole no, no, life. no, no. When I, in the 90s, Roger Davis, who eventually turned into Chip, Roger Davis. Who's Roger Davis? He was wanna... years ago, RD, and he, <laughs> he had a thing, and he had, he had a brother, Stewie. And another brother, I think named Chet, who was burned all over his body except below the knees. So he always wore knickers <laughs> to show off his unburned legs in the bottom. Or Roger you know, Davis. If this was the fifties, he'd be put in a home. There was also <laughs> if he mentioned this to anybody, he'd be strap. fucking strapped up, yes. gone. Edgar the, was little mouth man. Uh, uh. Little mouth man was became Edgar. Like well, little, little mouth little mouth oh man. God. This is from the, the, the mid like when I was 22, 23. Because I remember the girl I dated at the time when I was going, I like little mouth man. And there was the dirty you uncle. All this from the early nineties. Could she like that? Yeah, because she's it's, a, it's she's sexy a and fun. Lunatic. <laughs> That's why she's a mental patient. She dip. That's Edgar. Yeah, she I hate Edgar's little but baby fingernails. He does characters every day. But the one she hates the I'm most, no one has ever seen. I just because I can't do it. Ramish. What was it? Ramish. Fucking hate Ramish. What is Ramish? And the only reason why he does this character is because I hate him more than Chip. And what all is the other Ramish? Characters. I don't it's like some, asking. It's some dude, and he pulls like, his pants up, and he's looking like this. What is that? And I know, and he'll just stare at me and poke me and try to dance to the techno music. It's really. I'll see if I have character. a picture of him to show you, um, but it really does. Yeah, and upset her a but lot. But you only do it because it. I only do it, me, and that's I don't why do it, it upsets me even more. It's very sick hacky. of your fucking characters. I, I'm so with you. I'm sick of your fucking characters too. <laughs> Oh, look at your man. It's hard to live with Jim. It's, yeah. you, it's not easy. I think you're a delight. <laughs> yes, I do actually. <laughs> it's a stupid question. Of course you do. No one thinks they're not a delight. <laughs> of course you do. We had a fight yesterday because I didn't take my picture. Did you get into a fight? I got yeah. really annoyed. And I'm like, how dare you not take my picture? When I'm was it? Oh, that's Ramish. Yesterday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you send that? Can we put that in the show? Can you send that to my guy? Uh, I'll send you the picture, not the audio. And I deal with him every day. <laughs> why, did, why did you, when did you want him to take your picture? Because I, I did my makeup for two hours yesterday, and I spent time looking great. I knew I looked great. And I'm like, Jim, just take my picture. And he has a problem with it. You should literally be up from that sofa in hands. a second no and take my that. picture. I like your hands. Why? No, she does it. She gets mad at me because I gesture, but then she gestures all the time. She hates when I gesture. But you should just take my this. picture. Yeah. <laughs> what? Did you just go, huh? <laughs> what are you, like five? I, I do think. <laughs> I know. Who goes, huh? She's and like, when I cook in the kitchen. You the, cook? Yeah. yeah. But then he, You use the oven in his house? Yes. Finally. No way. I Finally. do. This motherfucker, I was getting nervous. Mm. He's. I love Jim. Mm -hmm. And he would always come to our house and stuff. But I'm like, Jim's such a great guy. Yes. He's fucking one of the best comedians. Mm. He's a Thank great you. actor. He's got a yeah. great job. I was like, he's got this amazing apartment. Mm -hmm. And you go to his house, and he does, you, for a party... And he doesn't, it's all delivered. Yes. It's like nothing. And then, and then, like, I remember he learned to take the subway at like 54. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> oh, dude, the subway's quick. Well, like, I never took the subway before. I mean, you never I, told me that. I, I've, been, I've been taking it for because he's been trying to tell me to not spend so much money on black Ubers. I didn't know. I say get regular Ubers. No, you know, I just do not let her take the subway. No, no, not the no subway. Way. But no, the, way. no, I'm not saying to get the subway. She I say get a regular Uber. But you see how she plays the poor card. And he wants me to take the subway. No, I don't. I said just don't just take regular Ubers. Yeah, but you 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 started taking the subway like four I years didn't know ago. That. No, I've been taking it for a while. I used to take it from Upper West Side. But yeah, I didn't take it for years. I was just taking. He came to the cell one night. To, he was like, yo, know, it's really fast. The subways in New York are fast. And we're all like, yeah, dude, we've been here for 30 years. Like, you, I when he says it to us, like, we're going to go, is it? 
<laughs> what is the subway? I grew up riding. Is that the sandwich shop? I grew up riding polo horses. So for me to take a <laughs> <laughs> And you row them. <laughs> you guys are a great couple. I love it. Well, you know. For, for now. Uh, what do you mean for now? Stop <laughs> throwing that in the world. No, we're not going. Anywhere. No, you're not going. Jim anywhere. will never leave me. No, he can't. No, he can't. But when I'm in the kitchen, he'll—that's when he'll talk what do you, to me. What do you cook? Oh, I make eggs. Yesterday, I made eggs, rotisserie chicken, broccoli, and there's this. Uh, Did you wait a minute, stop? Did this, you make the rotisserie chicken? No, she bought it and heated Here's it. the thing. <laughs> She's Here's lying. the thing. I can cook any meat, but I have a weird thing with chicken. I don't like chicken. So I will never, ever prepare raw chicken. I'll always order it to be a rotisserie. And even if it's already hot, I'll put it back in the oven. But we have I'm to use... with chicken. We do have that... What's that thing Jonathan gave us, that oven? We have to use... Uh, air fryer. The air fryer. We yeah. have one. We should use it. But, but our <clears throat> Gogna oven is amazing. It has a cook oven. You can bake I love it. that he, he brings up air fryer. And he's still that like was plastic. popular. It became yeah. popular 10 years ago. <laughs> I know. We haven't used it. <laughs> she cooks that one. When what, what's that Norwegian your... slop you make? Flesk which I don't like. Flesko dippa. It stinks. That? It's what not. She thinks it's great. It's My not. grandmother always used to make me. Um, it's like old traditional Norwegian dish. What is it? What is it made of? It's cabbage stew. <laughs> love it. Potatoes. No, love and it. Th bacon, but this thick Ooh, slice. Oh, what's wrong with that? And then when the bacon cooks, you put all the fat over the whole dish. In the whole. And the oh. cabbage stew, I make it from the bottom. It's really good. Oh, it's not well, good. Will you guys come over? Will you make that? Yeah, like, but he. Some? I don't cook for him so much because he has no sauces and, and no butter. It's very boring. Eating with dinner. Jim Norton uh, is, <laughs> is if there's fuck. no butter in. Here's the problem. Uh, tell me if this. If if this. Mm. Tell me if this, uh, can I get uh, the cod with nothing? Nothing. I know. It's just no no butter, no salt, yes. nothing and, on it. That's yeah. right. And I'd like to get asparagus. Again, nothing on the side. Uh, thank you. And then he'll yes. get his food and you'll get steak and blah, blah, I'll blah. I'll get the regular. And he'll be like this. Can I, let me try a little bit. Exactly. Let me try a little nibble. And then you get the dirt. Let me ten try on, a little ten on ten. You're so right. And then he'll eat like he'll eat a whole other meal. But he'll also but he'll make you feel like he's oh I'm eating so clean. No butter. <laughs> not even salt in my yeah. but you had half of mine. Yes. Thank you, you ate half of mine. Very kind of you. Yes. And it's not a compliment. <laughs> yes. And he also takes You're acting like you're fucking not you're eating You're saying I'm eating really healthy and I know how to have fun with my friends. That's a you, great compliment. No, you're eating two meals. Yeah. Thank you. How are you eating only so healthy and call with no butter and egg yolks all the time, but your stomach is still a little you tell me you're fat all the time. Well, because I'm not eating healthy. You have been. Uh, no, I haven't been. You she lost weight. Home. I lost weight, but I put it back on because she brings home candy. Jim's body does not feel body confident right now, but I tell him he looks amazing. I've never uh, told him to change. No, Don't she wants. Agree, Bobby. He needs a little weight. No, she wants me to have a fucking stroke so she can do what she wants in the apartment. <laughs> like if I fucking drop dead, it'll be all these fucking fruity. Like uh, uh, she's gonna push enter on a computer and, and OnlyFans is gonna come up. Uh, in the brand new studio. <laughs> Marilyn fucking Monroe pictures. All my kiss shit I mean, will be in the closet. I would do only <laughs> fans for free. Yeah, Miami Vice posters. <laughs> What'd you say? I would do only fans for free. Uh, why? Well, I know. You, but, I, you, know I take that back because I you, want the money. Do yeah. you, do you, are you, uh, like my wife's a stay-at-home wife. Mm -hmm. Are you going to, are you going to just stay at home or is there something you want that's to do? That's what I've been doing. I don't, you, think, and that, I, I don't think people understand that that's me for the last seven years. Yeah. Literally. That's yours. I you, went to Canada. I, I didn't meet any, I didn't have any friends. Why are people calling you a gold digger? You're a, somebody's wife. I think the looks and that I'm foreign and you know, yeah. that I probably did porn or webcam, whatever right. you want to call it. Yeah. They don't understand the dynamic. I get why people say it. It's not offensive. It's just And wrong. that I'm younger than Jim, obviously. Sure. Age difference. It's a huge age difference. And I think Jim is so open that he obviously likes me as his wife based on a lot of, you know, the sex part of it is a right. very big deal. We also, you, he wouldn't date me if I had gotten my cock removed. That's not true. Of course it's true. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be shocked. Oh, you. please. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd send you an IG message. Hope you're well. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you well. <laughs> Maybe someday you'll get over to the U.S. Um, <laughs> but no, it's... Uh, well, then look at, man, when you... When you are going... When you're attracted to transgendered woman, you don't, you know, you don't want to... You don't want to, that's part of it, is you yeah. like, you know, and people, is it gay? It's it's another thing. It's it not, ain't straight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just penis. Isn't. It can't be. And maybe it's because I am who I am, and you know, I'm big and statuesque or whatever, but yeah. every single guy that I've been with, yeah. even if they think they just want to fuck me, this all ends up with my cock. 
Like, all, every one of them. Like 99% of them. No, 100% actually. I don't even look at they it. They all want to suck. I was talking to Bailey J about that. She's like, when I'm on... She's like, when she... I was like, do you want to be treated like a woman or do you want to, you know, do you like mm. cock? And she's like, well, uh, uh, and, I, and I, I hope I get this right. She was like, when I'm on my hormones, I want to be fucked. Yeah. But if I go off, she's like, if I'm off my hormones, I turn into a <laughs> uh, She goes, I just, blow, I just blow old Uber guys, old, old Cubans. That's so funny she is because a yesterday I was thinking if I should go to my endocrinologist and up my estrogen dose because yes. she told me last year was a little low. <laughs> right. Um, and then I was also, that's a great reference by Bailey J. I also want to feel like a little f- sometimes because <laughs> i know this i've been watching myself on the podcast and i'm like oh that's a little testosterone there <laughs> so i get that ref- great reference bailey J. I so i so but you're gonna you're gonna is there anything you want to do is there any you know any, what i feel uh, what so is, great in my own skin no but I'm like quite, a job like do you have any oh like job. he's a stand-up he wants no I know i'm you a want traditional housewife like, i don't want a yeah, job never okay, never want a job yeah. she wants and to can make, you imagine me having a job here in new york yes cash year no unless this is something creative yeah where i can wander that's around and about. do anything. something that maybe he does yeah but is that Not that's comedy, what i mean but is there anything yeah. that you're looking like acting or i have to see wherever this writing or whatever we're doing with jim goes because we're kind of doing it stuff. unified and whatever i have to do or wanting to do all that money gets i'm gets very split. happy in life anything we make on the podcast or all that stuff all that will be split <laughs> which is like what <laughs> nothing yet eight hundred dollars that's yet. not that just not, a start that's well i was good. Still, I, I remember me and jay we first saw the, it was more of a vlog you were doing. That was the very beginning, yeah, yeah. Very beginning, which I loved. I, I, I just thought it was, I remember Thank telling you. Dawn, I went home, oh, you got to watch this. Jim and Nikki are doing a vlog. And it was so compelling. It was so interesting. Um, and I loved that it was on YouTube. And I was like, this has got to be a show. This Because there's so many of these type of uh, documentary, docu-series yeah. that are out there with these... I mean, it's just it's not. It's like uh, and and so many people say that I want to be like a celebrity and this and that. And thank you that they say that I'm good on social media. I appreciate that. But this was Jim's idea. I never pushed to be on YouTube. As a matter of fact, I pushed against it. I didn't want to be on YouTube. I felt like this was very invasive of my life. I didn't want that angle of me or that shot. And eventually, I just said, you know what? Fuck it. Put up whatever. I don't care. But this was not but in I'm glad my you did that because, mind at all because that showed. That you, to me, that this is real. Mm. These guys are a couple. I could tell by your little arguments, by the, the way you uh, talk to each other. I'm like, these, I, me, and, I, me, me and my wife, we relate to that. Like, we were both like, this is great. Mm. This is a, you know, I immediately was like, Jim, you gotta, you gotta do this. Someone's gotta yeah. buy this. You gotta sell this because I think it's an important thing too that we don't, when you think of transgendered, a lot you would think of a sex industry, right? Mm-hmm. And then it became politically, you know, woke, progressive, mm-hmm. where you know it was like you know whatever you know uh, a swimmer or you know. And that, I think yes. we need to see transgendered uh, couples relationship, like, yeah. but a relationship where it's like, look, man, will you just think this is just a couple? This is a this is a, a dude from Jersey, rock and roll, hangs out, one of the fastest, funniest guys walking the earth. Everybody knows Jim, and this is his wife, Nikki, mm-hmm. and she's transgendered. And the fact that you guys, your relationship at home, I mean, the kiss poster thing, where you, where, I mean, where you took the poster off and you replaced it with a, you replaced it with a kiss poster, and she's like, what the that. fuck? That is life. That's a, that's a relationship. Yeah. And I think it was, I thought it was like someone, someone should buy that. <laughs> By the way, we, yes. we, we are doing vlog stuff too. We, we, the reason is we're just getting the podcast up and going. We have, so much, we have so much, we have so much footage shot. Yeah. Like yeah. that, we want to edit. But and I stuff. feel really well, lucky, Jim, that I landed you, so to say, that I even got the opportunity to have a husband in my life and someone who is as nice as Jim. Yeah. Never imagined it, and people yeah. forgot that. What so about? I feel really lucky. What about a uh, like uh, a dog or a kid or I uh, wanted, adding to the? No, family. I've been telling Jim for Pat. the last days that I want a, I want a new iPhone. I want the dog. You didn't get I want a the new, new fu- iPhone. Listen, I want the new furniture. Old. The front, like I know it's a great apartment, it's and great. I'm not going to be the complaining cunt. Yes, you but are. But I want to have it to be cozy. <laughs> if enough could be CC in this room, I can make it look cozy. And it's not <laughs> cozy. This apartment. It's posters fucking everywhere. He's a fucking hoarder. The closet. 
faucet, I can't even get my long dresses down because it's fucking First of stacked. All, Jim, 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 and, I love you. And I this is you. for months, Jim. Listen, Jim, I love you. It's no for months you I keep it this you. way. I love you so much. Thank you, Bob. I hate but it. here's the thing. <laughs> Be right back. And I, <laughs> I, love, I love you, and I don't want to gang up on you. Cool. But appreciate that. Can't we just have a cozy apartment? I, I, I was. We were at. I'm going to say something right now. It's terrible. I like we, to rock we, and roll. You're we, just lazy, man. I'm we a went rock to and roll. UFC roller. 100. Jim didn't really know the UFC that much. They came in. It was at the beginning of it, mm -hmm. and he. They invited Jim there. Jim was so nice enough to take me. Big event. I'm yeah. a big fan of UFC. Mm -hmm. I knew all the fighters. I, I've been following it since one. We interviewed Pat Barry. We interviewed yeah. JDS. Ten years ago. Like these are guys. Jim didn't even know who who was who, what was what. How long ago is this? This is years. I knew ago. some of the. I didn't know all the. I didn't know the. Like I knew who he Pat Barry knew was. Knew nobody. No, no. I, I knew who JDS was. I, I knew uh, a bunch of them, but some of the he, Frank Mir I knew. He didn't know anybody. Such he knew a couple, yeah. but not mm -hmm. not like I was. You know, you were a big fan of. The I was UFC. a big fan of UFC. Yeah. He was a lesser fan. Let's sure. put it that way. But somebody had a glove. That's why you're a hoarder. Some, and this is why he. Had, it's a thing. <laughs> somebody had a glove. Yes. The fighter's gloves that they signed. And he saw that. I think of And he, that. he went like this. Huh, and he went and bought 35 pairs of gloves. Oh, and my he God. he made me go ask fighters. Or he would go ask. Because he didn't know who they were. He'd be like, who's that? Should I get him a sign of glove? And I'd be like, you don't even know who he is. But yes, that's Machida. <laughs> Thank He's you. He's the champion. Literally, but that's true. Quantity, b light bulbs. He bought fucking 30 of them. Scrubs to wash the sink, 40 of them. You bought why do you 35 buy so pairs of... Why would, you, why why would you listen? Piss my pants. Go ahead. Yeah, go pee. Right why would you listen to that lie that I bought a bunch of light bulbs? You didn't buy 30 things? No. She's lying. She's just, no, she just says things. What, what? I mean, I mean, I gotta agree with that. <laughs> I mean, my, my wife says just she says, she'll say anything in the <laughs> moment. Yeah, <laughs> like if we were kidnapped, do you know how fast she would say anything to get out of there and leave me alone? <laughs> no, she, she just says things. She would not leave you. Um, yeah, no, I do hoard though, but not not You're, you are, man. When it comes to fan shit, yeah. When it comes to I'm not autographs anymore, I don't get anything. Signed. Post, dude, you you you. It's a problem. Like f posters and memora memorabilia. Yeah. Is like a, th it's like, it, and it's it's just all over the place. Like I remember we went to your house. We were all mad at you. Went to your house. <laughs> you didn't have any photos of us, but you had photos of people you didn't know. Let me take a poll of all the audience. Who? Would, what would you rather display? Bob's picture or a glove signed by Ali? <laughs> I mean, you got a point, but the thing <laughs> is, I had a Muhammad Ali glove that I, I got him to sign. Yeah, but it was like going to a museum when Thank you went you. to your house. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> I never see it for free. I didn't even charge you. <laughs> I've never stayed at yours. No, no one stays at my house. Yeah, we, we live close. I haven't stayed at yours either. That's weird, right? No, we, what are, what are we, 15? Oh, I, I, I drive I, home. I went to your house a couple of times. Yeah, you've been to my house. You're always welcome. I've been to yours many. Yeah. But we don't sleep over. I just drive home. I just, I well, we used to live in the same building. Hey, do you want to sleep over? And I'm going to get in the elevator <laughs> and go 17 floors to my apartment. <laughs> I know. All right. I get you. Yeah. Um, well, I think that, like, that show, Welcome Back. Nikki's back. Um, the apartment has to change. Just be a little more cozy. Yes, yeah, so I can think of one change that would make the apartment a lot nicer. I, Jesus Christ. I want new furniture and just coziness. Buddy, I when I moved in with Dawn, I wanted I had a poster. I, love your place. I have a I had a poster of uh I think it was Bruce Lee. She threw it out. Yeah. Uh clothes she doesn't like that I wear, she shrinks them. She just puts them in the I wet love them. Dawn. I'm and at the point now where I'm thinking the same thing. Yeah, she shrink like I'll come where's my <laughs> where's my WrestleMania shirt? And I'll go to put it on and my belly button sticking out. I mean, you shrink it? And she's like, no. And she just starts laughing. Um, <laughs> nothing on the wall is mine. Yeah. Nothing. Couch. No, no decoration. No, I've added nothing. She. I had to buy. This is how fucked up it is. I had to buy a shed. There's yeah. a shed in the backyard. Oh, is that, that what I, it's for? That's my. She goes. You. She walked in. She goes. You can put all this shit. There you go. She takes all my stuff and just shucks it in, in the a little shed. hut. By yeah. the way, not one picture of me in the shed. Yeah, there is. No, there's not. A hundred percent, there is. Where? It's on the. Well, it's not facing. It's it's not facing cameras. It's facing me. No. You, Patrice, yeah, Manny. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And, and, you, and you I have another picture. And you're I hoping I wind up with those guys soon. No, no, sir. I don't want you to <laughs> he at all. Even have photos <laughs> of his family. I have. I do. I, I do so. To, I do too. I have. I have a picture oh. of you. I have a picture of you, 
kneeling down in front of a hooker in Brazil while Patrice was teaching you vibrator oh, techniques. Oh, yeah. I have that and you're like this. Too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I Did have that. Did Patrice also have fun in Brazil? Oh, yeah. Oh. Too, yeah, of course he did. Have you been to Brazil? Went together. Yep. <laughs> okay. I have to piss too. Yeah, go <laughs> peace. Yeah, I went to Brazil. I've it always was, um, wanted to go to Brazil. We had a, such a good time. We I had a really good time. I think I would Brazil. love Brazil. We had a good time. I got to kind of, because I'm married now, I got to kind of chill out on the- Of course. But uh, we had a good time in this Brazil. This was like 10 years ago? More. 20? More. Oh my God, really? I don't know. I don't when, know. When my did, wife doesn't listen to stuff, but God forbid. No, I, we weren't married. Die? We weren't married. Uh, he died, ten, I think, 10 years ago, right? Mm. How when did Patrice die? So I would have never met him. No, but he would have loved you. I hope so. He would have loved you. I remember one time I dated a girl. Um, I, there was this beautiful girl that worked over at um, the Boston Comedy Club. Mm -hmm. 2011. 2011. He's wow. dead. He well, how, well, I was like 16 then in high Jesus school. Jesus Christ. That's when he died. That's over 10 years. Do you think he would like me? He would have loved you. I think he would like he me. He would have made fun of Norton. Yeah, um, Patrice. He would have made fun of you, sure. um, but in a joking way. No, he would have loved you. He would ask the most. He seems very huggable. He would ask questions that were offensive. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He would ask. You know what I mean? He Jim asked. Told me he, he likes fish. Aquarium. What type of a weird <laughs> inserted? I thought you meant pussy. No, I, I, thought... <laughs> I didn't know what fish. No, but you're saying he was. I you're thought... saying something about what he liked, and you just jump in. I heard he likes fish. No, I thought that was a very nice quality of Patrice that he liked little aquarium, aquatic life. That's a sign of being a relaxed person in the right. mind and state of body. There are that are almost dying every day, and you need something to calm you down. Yeah, instead of a steak and cheese and a pizza, the yuhu. <laughs> 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 I told you the story about um, Patri Patrice's mom. It was so funny. He had when he went to Brazil, that he would go with dildos. Oh my god! We called them Doctor Dildo. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean he would go with? Dildos? He'd bring glass he would bring, dildos. Not glass dildos. He'd bring vibrators. Yeah. He had glass and, ones too. And glass dildos. He liked to put them in. Expensive. Yeah, because I don't know. I don't know if he couldn't fuck or didn't want to fuck. He would get hookers. And make them come. Well, it's probably if it aids, it'll only get on the dildo. Maybe that's why the dildos were glass. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. So, you, you know. Say? What did you say? He what didn't hear you. you. I didn't get if it. He, maybe he would just so the AIDS or HIV wouldn't get on him, it would go on the dildo. So he could still play and have fun <laughs> by inserting. I mean, maybe. No, we didn't and care about. Maybe us, that's why they were glass. Listen to me. None of us cared about AIDS. Yeah. No, no. Oh. at all. We didn't oh, give a no. shit about AIDS. Oh, yeah, see. we looked up, we Googled AIDS before we went and said, "Ah, it's not that bad." And we were like, "Fine, let's go." Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so you guys have been with hookers and you never questioned that? I no, I I did. Oh, I wore God. condoms when they made me, but there was a couple that what? didn't. When they made you? Yeah, there oh, was yeah, yeah. there was one who was like, "You special," and I threw the condom away. <laughs> And made love to We her. had sex with condoms. We didn't do that. He I was, did. He was an outlaw. No. And I was reckless. <laughs> yeah, he was reckless. Wow. And I took one swipe. I took one lizard. Oh, okay. Yeah. That at, was at, it? At the thermos. She was smoking hot. And she was like, oh, you licky licky. And I went, oh. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but no, we, we were pretty safe there. We were safe. Brazil. Yeah. But yeah, Patrice. Um, I love Brazil. He had all these dildos. So, you know, he had a just... And, and he would buy, every time he would, would go, he would buy more dildos. We called him Dr. Dildo. So I was talking to Patrice's mom. Did I ever tell you this story? I don't know. So I'm talking to his mom, and she's so funny. She's like, I'm like, do you ever have any of Patrice's stuff? Like, what did you do with all this stuff? And she's like, Bobby, it's, it's, uh, it's a funny thing. You know, when, when he died, I called up Vaughn. And I said, sweetie, all his stuff is in the storage unit. You can have okay. whatever you want. Just go down and get it. And you know, the only thing she wanted... There was a suitcase full of dildos. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all she wanted. That's right. I go, what? She goes, yeah, there was a James Bond looking metal suitcase. <laughs> he had custom made. And if you open it up, there was dildos strategically placed. <laughs> he was like a dildo spy. I was fucking howling. He had so many of those fucking things. Yes, he did. Yeah. The bag would clink. Yeah, in yeah. The, uh, I remember oh, the bag. Because he started out, he didn't have the. That's why he got the custom metal bag. Case. Yeah. Oh. He, like cameras. Oh, really? Because he'd be, he'd have to put it on the conveyor belt, and I remember he'd hear it clink, and then he'd just stare at the the TSA person because it would go through the, <laughs> it would go through the X-ray, and she, you'd see them like this. They'd be like, uh, 
And he'd be like, and he just shrug his shoulders. He had a specialty suitcase for his dildo. Yeah. yeah, but this was a, ba- a duffel bag. There might be a picture of it in my first book. I took. A- I had a picture of me and Patrice in the whorehouse, yeah. and uh, we were wearing robes, and we were just wiped out. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know if the the duffel bag is visible, and that might not have been. But I remember that uh, that locker room downstairs. <clears throat> that was a fun time. But yeah. So how long were you there? Oh, a few days. I mean, five weeks. <laughs> no, and you, and, and, <laughs> not like a week. And you remembered? Did you ever go with trans there? No, did not. Yeah, did not. Would no. that have scared you? Uh, maybe, but I would. It would have been one of those things. That was two thousand three. It's over twenty years ago. Mm. So I was quieter about things then. I I might have done it, but I honestly didn't really think to do it while I was. And there. you probably didn't need it. Also, where country. would you have gone? Like I didn't know the areas. It's very dangerous. You gotta be careful. Where so. were, where was your first trans girl? No, oh, I mean just I, uh, when do you, New, New Brunswick like, comes? New sure. Brunswick? Yeah, probably eighteen, nineteen. Eighteen, nineteen. Yeah. And did you, you like it? At first, I didn't know what it was. Like, I knew, but I didn't know that they were. I would always feel to make sure the breasts were real. Mm-hmm. And some cop told me, they get implants. I was like, oh, I didn't know. So so when did you... dumb. When did you... When was your first penis encounter with a trans girl? Oh, around that time, I think. Yeah. Um, good question. <laughs> in that area. In that area, I think. I, I don't remember. Actually, don't remember. The you don't remember part. it? No. Good and, question. And then you... <laughs> But then, like the first time, were you? Was it awful? Was, did she be like, "You suck dick bad"? No, because I was a kid. Please, you know, Monster Rain. I was a yeah, fucking yeah. old pro. Yeah, but that. Huh? You oh, <laughs> <laughs> you learned on you. Your friends helped you. When I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, it was great. I was like playing the fucking flute up and down the line. <laughs> <laughs> right, but there is a di- like it's you. You don't. You consider yourself. What do you consider yourself? Gay? Bi? What? I mean, you, you can't. I'm not gay. Um, I because I do that. like women, but you can't say straight either. It's impossible no. to say straight when there's a dick involved. And like, I imagine if you're with a trans woman who has a vagina, even then, it's like boo. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't know. It's definitely not straight. A hundred and ten percent not. Oh, I don't know. And if there's if a vagina, say, I don't know. Maybe I don't know, but you still have the trans identity there. But you, but it depends on what you like. I, I don't know the answer to that. I don't, I know don't if think that's any true. man who dates trans women are straight. I don't know about that. But I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. There's no there's no conclusion to come. Fist to. fest October. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and Sword Fight is our podcast. Yeah, Sword Fight is your podcast. It's a great name for a podcast. Thank yes. you. And the artwork is good. They just did some. Uh, and the I art- artwork is self explanatory because we get so many questions. Who has the bigger dick? Hello, I have the bigger sword. Does that bug you? No. Okay. <laughs> did you see the, the, the? Did you see the? Uh, My saber is big. Did you see, I didn't the, uh, see the logo? No, I saw the first it's on episode my Instagram. where it went from vlog into podcast. I yeah. love that, by the way. We're doing I, that more. Yeah, I think you should do that. I've never seen a podcast do that. It goes from just hanging out. You're like, what is this crazy yes. shit? And then all of a sudden, the show is up, the background's up, and it's into the show. Yeah, I like that a lot. I really I, think you should keep doing the vlog. We're going I to. think you should. You should put an outline together. Yes. You should put a, a whole treatment together, and you should go and pitch this. Get get knows. And I, I, but you need to do that because someone will pick this show up, and I think it would be a, gr- I think it would be a, a great show for the whole, for everybody to kind of get over whatever it is and be like, this is a great. You're a great conduit to 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 make people. You know what I mean? Like we, the business- nobody cares. Just be happy. Yeah. You, the business, though, as you know, I mean, it really is filled with people who say the right thing. But there's a lot of frauds in our business and a lot of ideological frauds in our business. Yeah. Uh, and they say they want this and we want representation. We want the and they don't even want to take meetings. We're not entitled to anything like because she's trying. It doesn't entitle us to a show. No. But, but when it, but when somebody won't have a meeting with you, you're like, you're a fucking fraud. They won't and, have and, a meeting. Really? Some places would. No. Name it. Um, no, but I, I, I'll tell you off here. Here's why. <laughs> Shit! Only because, it would have been a viral clip. Nah, only because they'll just... What does it rhyme with? Amazon? Well, let me also say... <laughs> <laughs> actually, they wouldn't. No, Amazon uh, wouldn't meet with us. But Really? Uh, but, they, I, you know, whatever. But they but, actually wouldn't. No. But yesterday, maybe it's because, um, you know, uh, Jim is on Fox. Yesterday, I shared like a little snippet where I'm like, oh my God, my husband's on Fox News. And I lost 200 followers to that. No. no it's okay. I don't know. It's, Why? I don't, I don't know. I, but everyone it's like, split. hello, he's just on Fox. Does that make me... People hated me for that, I think. Some people hated oh, me yeah. for that. 
they got And I'm fucking, not a conservative trans woman. I'm just my husband. I want to say something. The, the fucking Fox. left have become very They're religious. They're insane. Do you like? I'm that's from Norway. Logo. I don't know what. I, we have. We actually had a yeah. fan. Uh, that's Fat so JC cute. made a logo for you. Oh, um, oh my can god! Up, can we bring up that logo? Do you see my sword, Bobby? The pink one. Yeah, yeah and he put yeah. a little. Like, mine is limp. Oh, uh, yours. <laughs> yours is just a worm. Yeah, it, it's it's not a logo that we made. <laughs> it was. Uh, it could be. Just bring it up. <laughs> okay. Fucking autistic <laughs> asshole. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> I made a fucking creative decision on the fly <laughs> in the middle of the fucking podcast. You didn't like being corrected. <laughs> not that one. The bo- both of them. Yeah, the yeah. one of both. Is that of them. a Viking? No, the one of both of them. Oh, he's such a fuck. Yeah, there you go. Wow. How about that? That's beautiful. That's your face, that's Jim. That's very Norwegian. Is that that's, my- that's oh, your face. I didn't even know that. Is it really? Wow, it is. Yes. Is that, that is that's me. What, that's what your mother wanted you Hold to on. get. Hold <laughs> on. <laughs> you know, bummed out your mother. <laughs> Show I your mother wish that. I was born female now. Bobby, you gave me gender dysphoria. Why? I'm joking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you look, that. that's you. And that's A him. hot bitch. That's him with the... I love it. Yeah, is this if, AI? If had How that, incredible. Had <laughs> Can, they get Can that someone mon- send me that? Because I'm in love. I don't yes. want the beard, though. Why? Why? I don't oh, want you're a beard. fucking you Viking. <laughs> I don't want a beard. I wanna... You don't have a beard anymore? I, I want to look like... Uh... Oh, my God. Can I see? There you go. What about that Wow. One? Oh, oh like that my one. goodness, Jim. You look so handsome. You do, man. Oh, you look beautiful. This is such hair. a nice surprise. This is uh, Fat JC made these for you. That's Jim. Nice. That's your oh face, Oh, my Jim? God. Wow. wow. Oh, my God. I love you with a beard. And no, a you Viking. don't. You would hate me with a beard. I wish you were a Viking. No, you don't. Why? Why don't you, 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 you dress like a Viking? Kind of a Viking stupid. outfit. Why? Fucking Hagar the Horrible is a douche. <laughs> nobody likes Hagar. Who's that? First of all, nobody knows who. Stop with your smartness. That's the only Viking I can think of. Nobody knows a Viking. Hagar the Horrible. Nobody knows him. You read <laughs> a book, a, you're a no, smart guy. You don't know guy. who Hagar is? No. Look up Hagar the Horrible. You'll know exactly who he is. He was a Sunday comic book uh, on the Sunday Funnies in I the don't fucking think newspaper. He was a real the Viking Sunday man. Funnies? Yeah. How old do you think I am? I know. He was ah, not a real Viking. You get the Sunday paper? <laughs> <laughs> you get the coupons? Hagar the Horrible was a fucking. He was uh, in, the, in the newspapers. I don't remember that. <laughs> As an old I'm going to claim. Yeah, you don't remember Hagar the Horrible? He oh. was a fucking... Oh, him. Oh, my God. They have cartoons in Norway. Uh-huh. See? No, I don't remember him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that that was... Uh, but Fat JC made those for you. Thank, Thank you, Jason. Um Yeah, you, on your Wikipedia, dude, it says your age, but it doesn't say when you were born. <laughs> did you know that? It did no. before. It did? What, like when were you born? Like two years ago, it 68. did. 68. 68. Yeah. 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 It doesn't say that. Oh, there it is. Jim Norton was born 67 in 1968. <laughs> That's so funny. Dude. 68. Yeah, it's not a big secret. Sixty-eight. Mm. Um, I was. It's so funny this weekend. They, you know, the drag thing. First of all, the, oh. the I want to drag queen. <laughs> drag queen. We went to. They have a drag show. I do Mohegan Suns. So you do the oh, first show. Right. Yeah. Right after the show, they have a drag show, and they want you the fuck out of the dressing room. Right. You know what I mean? It's just the way they in the need casino. The room. They, so every time I do that place, I would come out of the dressing room, and there'd be three drag queens just standing Hi, honey. And angry. Not even. Oh, <laughs> hurry the fuck up. Yeah. Because this is serious shit. So they got to get dressed. They got to look makeup. like a right. woman tonight, Bobby. Yeah, they got to go from uh, you know their day job being a merchant marine to <laughs> fucking Liza Minnelli, and they got to do it fast. <laughs> so, so I come out this time. I'm out there taking photos, doing pictures, and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get my stuff. And Danny's Bobby, and I'm like, I'm just gonna get my stuff. He's like Bobby, and he's I'm walking fast. I want to get my bag. I want to go. So I'm going to the tree. He's like Bobby, Bob. I'm like Danny. Shut the fuck <laughs> I'm so angry Because he keeps saying my name Yeah And I'm like I'm going to get my bag I'll be right back Yeah you're trying to see A dick Bobby. under a skirt I didn't even I didn't even know They were in there I forgot uh, about uh, him So I I just I, He goes Bobby And I just go Shut the fuck up there. I open the door And it's just some Oh my god Some, some guy trying to put Nylons on <laughs> With lipstick and eyeshadow And he just looks at oh. me You fuck you And I just see it and, he, and, and he's like I told you And I'm like I'm so sorry I apologize what? That's what Jim would have said too But he would have stood there For 20 more seconds <laughs> Yeah yeah, sorry, uh, sorry. In um, Montreal, they would do, there was a drag show after one of the comedy yeah, shows. I took Max to it. Yeah, yeah, and I got shit for that too. Oh it's, God. it's so they're funny. Not, they're, they're campy. They're not sexual. Look, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't want drag queens coming in and reading bedtime stories because I feel like you know, look, there's a certain age that you can take your son to a drag show. Yeah. But if you're a Christian and you don't believe in, you believe in certain things, I respect that. You can't just make force people to believe your ideology 
I took my kid to a I don't care. You but know, it doesn't matter. Because like, you're going there to the venue. Well, I've had Bailey just... J was at his second birthday party. His fifth, five. Yeah. He was sitting next to Dolores, my, you know, six, 87 year old neighbor who is Catholic. So he, he, it doesn't matter. His, he's in the world. Our neighbors across the street are gay. We it's spend 4th of thing. July with them. Every 4th of July, they're the best. These two guys sure. are the best. They you follow- want to see where they shoot the fireworks? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> they follow the rules of the city, so nothing, no fireworks over six feet, and there's a hose running at all times, like so they can wet the. Oh. But Mac, we have a good time. You know what I mean? So, but like the 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 drag queens get wet. This is what my life is. <laughs> I mean, this. I, I mean, is, no, I'm thinking the main. No, no, no. This is what this the is hose? one story. Combine into this is this is what I this, this has to be a show. Listen, but this me. is what my life is. It's well, two network, stories off. Netflix, Amazon, whoever it is, you have to make this a show. And also, I'm transgender inclusivity. Hello, I saw that was such a what a states person. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it really should be a show, dude. I, I, me and Jay will watch it. We were talking about it. I, I, I me and Don watched it. Um, Max watched a little bit of oh, it, thanks. and it was so funny just knowing you and knowing you, and you guys bicker and fight, but you love each other yeah. so much. Yes, we do, and it's real, and you can tell anybody who's in a relationship. That's not natural. That is natural. Put your hand. You just do it. Right, my wife, show? if Dawn did it, I would do it. Love is that, you. Do you love him? Yes, you do. Right, I do. You well, love I love her. you too. But yeah, but this, this was just. Just be more of a gentleman when you take. Uh, come on, she's right. She's you, got you a should. Point. You should open the door for me. Yeah, you should I'd love to always leaving. wait to order food <laughs> until I ordered. He never does that. It's like you said before. But, ah, can I have the cod? Here's him? why I do it. You should always let me I do order. It to, to always be the woman order first. No, no, I do. You do butter her bread. No, you don't butter he your should. wife's bread. No, That's every a, time thank the you bread for comes that. to the table, and I taught Max this. You butter your you butter your mom's. I butter her bread, Thank and you. I put the bread. I over wouldn't the butter her bread if she was in an iron lung. <laughs> 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 By the way, I I saw a picture of him today in the Iron Man lung, and he kind of looked like you. <laughs> he did not look like me. <laughs> Fat and old. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> picture Nikki. Can you butter my bread? Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, yeah. Could you imagine other things? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> great position. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it would be a, it would be a fun show, I think, and we're gonna get it done. You got it. So. Someone's got to pick it up, dude, because I it's think it would, with you and her, you guys are such a great couple, and it's such Thank a you. funny Thanks, show. Bombie. And I love that you guys are out there, and you're not. You've known. I love because I long. know you put it. You had to hide a lot of stuff. Sure. You had to hide who you were, and you had to hide everything that was going on, and that must have killed you for those years. And you yes. too. But I saw how much it 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 fucking burdened you. And then now I see you, and the 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 clouds have gone, and the sun came out. And I don't mean to be fucking yep. stupid with this, but it really is. When I see you now, you're you're happy. Yeah. You know Definitely. what I mean? Thanks I am. so much, Bobby. And the reason why we didn't tell that many people, only the closest of Jim. Was because when if we don't know if they're gonna tell me yes or no, yeah, then uh, what? Yeah. I didn't no, want to go no. through it on the air because I know yeah. I have a big mouth, and if I I, I didn't want to, <laughs> <laughs> you goddamn better. You, yes, if you didn't, you do now. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, stretched uh, out. Good luck for yeah. Good is luck he, fucking Edgar's he, face. Is he good? It was already. Is he good? It's bad. Uh, wonderful. Per- wonderful. I love my sex with Jim. Norton. Me too. Love yeah, it. We have great sex, yeah. We have fabulous, we're perfect for each other, sexually, yeah. mentally, yeah. physically. Yeah. I love his touch. I love his smell. Yeah. You yeah. Really my do. wife? No, I love your wife. I will talk to her about <laughs> my s- s- touch and smell. Well, you know, she doesn't like it? Huh? She doesn't like your touch and smell? No, nah, dude. The one thing you're, you're very happy about, <laughs> that your wife has a penis, and you'll never have to go through old vagina phase. Oh yeah. When they just get angry for no reason. When they're when the vag starts to die, <laughs> they're just like, don't touch me. Oh, <laughs> Leave no. me alone. I'm hoping she gets through it quick and we can go back. Menopause, you mean? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Premenopause is worse. Mm. Yeah, I've heard. Oh, is she terrible. on hormones? Like little I don't know what she's doing. She's she's taking stuff. I got a yeah. f- I got this uh, this power fan <clears throat> at the house. And when I see her neck get blotchy, I just shoot it in her face. <laughs> and she goes like this. I told 
I feel for her. I also get hot flashes, like insane. You do? Insane. From, what? From my hormones, probably. Oh, yeah, yeah. Insane. I tell Jim, feel my back. It'll be like a pool of It's, it's a really unfun moment. Yeah. I don't like that. But it doesn't smell. Relax. It's just... No, you don't smell. I you just want don't... Jim to take testosterone? No, I don't want him to take anything. Nothing. I want. I'm very be natural. Please. That's good. Good. Yeah. That's yeah. great, man. Yeah. And you I, would, get, I would hate him with you, testosterone. Are yeah. you like you're in the UFC too? Have is anybody like is everybody cool? Everybody's great. No one. I mean, on this. I mean, she knows Matt. I, we've met Matt. She came at me when I interviewed Trump. Oh, I love Matt. Matt. Do you tell me if this is right? I feel like the right is more has turned into the left and the left has turned to the right. I feel like the the yes. right back in the 80s was Christian and God and blah, and the right is more tolerable tolerable now than the left is. The left, if you don't do exactly what, especially trans, if you don't toe the line, if you don't say what you're supposed to say, if you're doing anything out of it, they're going to fucking write you off yeah. as something fucked up and you're bad and you're not representing right. You know you what I mean? You guys are like the most politically split place I've ever been. Um they, they, in Norway, they even when they vote for prime minister, they have different levels. Like we're not like left, right. Like I don't feel like it's that where I'm from. They, I mean, no one has said anything. I'm sure people have their feelings, but they've all been. I mean, Dana wrote a letter. Uh, I needed uh, for immigration because I do work for UFC and I couldn't leave the states. Yeah. And Dana, Dana was very generous and wrote a letter. He was one um, great guy. No I one has Dana. been. Uh, like, none of the fighters, I mean, I'm on social media with Nikki, none of the fighters have said anything. However Everyone they feel is one thing. Everyone has been so nice. But no one has been shitty. But they but, also live in a predominantly, I think they know, everyone watches. I think everyone knows about trans porn. It's very big. You see how popular it is? There's a lot of people that people wouldn't I think believe watch, them, watch it. it. I think most <laughs> men have. I believe that. Well, a lot uh, of men What is it? Trans porn? Yeah. It's, I'm it's, not it's, saying they jerk is, off to it. it. It's like a trans girl really naked. Seen it. Yeah. And what yeah. happens? A lot of times they get blown or they fuck. Or it's mm. really, I know, I, I stumbled and, on and it. There's no, those like babysitting trans porn though, right? Uh, not no, but I, however, if there was, I'd be very interested in finding a link to report and it. I'll send it to you later. Thank you. Brassers <laughs> have their own trans section now. What? what is it? Brassers, they have their own trans section now. They yeah, didn't do, they do. Yes, really. So I wow. look at that as like straight ish. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can recommend some wonderful girls for you if you yes. like. No, I'm good. On porn, I'm stuck with my old vagina. Okay. I'm happy. I'm just hoping her click gets bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Bombies. <laughs> All right, Gone. Listen, I know you guys got to go because you're going to get up in the morning. I get She's up. She's going to dance. Yeah. I'm gonna, yes. <laughs> wow, she perfect. has a photo shoot. We have, um, we're going to be going to Patreon right now. Yeah. If you questions. guys are watching this, we're going to get questions. So if you want to hear the questions that you guys ask, go to patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. Uh, you have to check out their podcast. Uh, right now, Nikki and Jim's podcast, it's called, uh, sword fight, sword, sword fight, fight, which is hilarious. Yeah. Check out their YouTube page. They have a bunch of vlogs up there. Adorable couple. Thank I, you. I love you guys so much. Uh, make sure you check out Jim. He's on Jim and Sam every morning. One of the, uh, most popular shows on Sirius. Uh, I love both you and Jim, uh, you and Sam, Sambo. Uh, Thank you. I'm, I'm on the road you, too. Can I say I got, be, I got Oklahoma, yeah. Houston, and Dallas? Uh, Austin is sold out, but uh, by the time this airs, uh, Oklahoma, Houston, and Dallas. Are you traveling with them at all? Or are you just staying home? Yeah, I prefer to stay at home. Yeah, she's coming to Austin with me. Uh, we're doing. We had asked to but do a Austin podcast on there. But Austin is fun. What are you doing? What are you doing? What podcast? It's, it's uh, Laura Compton's uh, first date. I've done it, and then she reached out. And she goes, "I want you to do it with Nikki." I went is that through the sexy blonde girl. Yeah, yeah, she's saying? great. She does a great podcast. Yeah, we had her on bonfire. She was nice. Very, very, very nice. Cool. Austin is fun. Yeah, Austin's a fun town. Yeah, that's great. You doing Mothership or what? Yeah, oh, you sold out already, right? Yeah, yeah, it's been sold out. That show is that, that's just Rogan's the best. Yeah. I mean, they I love that. his club too, yeah. his comedy club. I have had so much fun there when I was there. She went there with the uh, be the it first was time, yeah. Fabulous, yeah. Rogan, Adam, they just treat you great. Yeah. Love it, fantastic, so nice. Um, so make sure you check out all that stuff. Uh, make sure you follow Nikki uh, on social media. Yes. What's your uh, is what is your... M S Nikki Norton, Miss Nikki Norton, Miss Nikki Norton. And make sure you follow Jim. You probably already do if you follow yeah. me. You definitely follow him. And it's Nikki and Jim NYC is our YouTube. Nikki Nikki and Jim yes. NYC and is a YouTube. Page. Jim insisted on Nikki being first, not moi. No, I like the alliteration of it better. Nikki and Jim instead of Jim and Nikki. I just didn't like the, the N sounds. Yeah. Jim. And um, I got dates. RobertKellyLive.com. I'm gonna be at uh, Houston. I'm going to be at Austin at the Mothership. I think
think all my shows are pretty much sold out. There might be one of the shows Friday that still has tickets. Lafayette, I'm San Antonio, Boston, Sa- uh, Sarasota, Florida, McCurdy's. I'm all over the place. Uh, me and Paul Verzi are doing oh. uh, Bone to Pick Live at the Red Clay Comedy Fest. Uh, so make sure you get tickets to that. It's a live podcast, the Bone to Pick. Mm. I don't know when this is coming up, but if not, me, I know it's probably already gone. Me get your Jake. tickets for Bob Kelly. Yeah, please, God damn it, get your tickets for Bob O. What is Red Fest? Red Clay Comedy Red Clay Festival. O. It's just a comedy festival. Okay. Uh, and make sure you go to comedy. Uh, what the fuck is it? Comicwearables.com. Comicwearables. Thank you, Danny. He hates when I fuck up. You hear his tone? Yeah. Comicwearables. I heard dumb. Uh, Comicwearables.com. <laughs> Buy all the merch up there. We got YKWD. We got oh, Fat Robert Kelly. Shirt. We got Fat Robert Kelly. We got the shirt. We got... Uh, I want a shirt, Jim. Whatever you want, want. You can have. Tell me what really? you want. We'll get it for you. I yeah. want the one with your face on it. You want Fat Bobby? Yeah. I'm going to be getting Sexy Bobby up there soon. Which I'll one get do you that want? Both. You want both? Yeah. I'll, right, I'll get smoke both. session them. Which one you... <laughs> what is smoke session? Smoke weed. Oh, I like it. You, oh, com- you smoke weed? Yeah. That's great. Good for you. I, if there's one thing I could do, it was smoke weed, but yeah. we can't. We're sober. What's it's up? It's okay. Um, make sure you go there, comicribbles.com. Uh, and that's it. Guys, what do you got? Uh, Max Marcus Comedy, all social media. Follow me on Instagram at Danny Braff and come to Comedy at Verve in Somerville, New Jersey every month. And uh, go to YouTube, type in The Cheese Show. Okay. So uh, that's anticlimactic. <laughs> the Cheese Show. Just tried to whip it up I at the like end. I like it. No, uh, make sure you follow these guys. I'm telling you right now, hilarious. I bring them on the road with me. We'll go, so if you have a chance, go up to them, follow them. Make sure these guys fucking hilarious. And they're uh, the reason why the podcast is doing so well is you and these three nerds back there. So I want to thank you guys. And we'll see you guys next time on YKWD. You know what, dude? You're the best fans. See ya. Listening to the YKWD podcast. Thanks for listening. Now go back to your shitty jobs. Shitty jobs. Shitty jobs.